An accused murderer and robber remain on the run after escaping from the juvenile justice center. Two of the juveniles who escaped were captured. News Channel 5's Alexandra Cohen talked to the juvenile court judge today. And Alexandra, she doesn't think this building is even safe. Right, Judge Calloway says she doesn't even feel the building is secure. She says the escape should concern the community as something needs to be done. Surveillance video outlines the moment four teens escaped from the Juvenile Justice Center. I was extremely concerned. Um, I was very disturbed. They posed as an employee to get into the elevator. They took it to the ground floor and ran out the front door. This is definitely another eye-opening um, experience as to what we have to do and how we have to step up the security of the building. This is not the first time something like this has happened. In 2017, a teen fell through the roof trying to escape. When I think about some of the design difficulties that we have with the building, um, there are definitely things that I, that I think about that could happen. And they have. Brandon Crothers and Morris Marsh remain on the run after this weekend's escape. They must turn themselves in. Um, if they turn themselves in, it makes it safer for everybody. It makes it safe for our community. Juvenile Court Judge Sheila Calloway says she's working with Youth Opportunities Investment to make sure changes are made. There were definitely things that should never have happened. And it is our job to make sure it never happens again. A special team is investigating the escape. YOI's contract is up in 2020. It's unclear if it will be renewed. Back to you. Thanks, Alexandra.